right, boppers. <laughs> Everybody surely comes out of each chapter of this action franchise with the John Wick theme conducting their every footstep, right? From the stunning cinematography by Dan Lauston, the staple masterful choreography, to the pounding intensity of Tyler Bates and Joel J. Richards' score, this really is a must-see for any fan of action cinema. Director Chad Stahelski's prolific experience in movie stunt work really shines through in his directing, not only the most fluid and graceful action to hit the big screen in years through each chapter, but also creating a modern revenge classic with the original John Wick. He's a long-time collaborator with Keanu Reeves working as a fight coordinator on Constantine, as well as a martial arts choreographer on The Matrix Reloaded and Revolutions, before working on Reeves' directorial debut, Man of Tai Chi. Their creative partnership is one to be treasured. The hefty weight of this film's length can definitely be felt in the quieter moments of the first half. It's completely understandable why they are there for the plot's sake, but I did find myself admittedly drifting off during a couple of scenes. This was mainly due to the comparisons being made with the non-stop insanity of Mad Max Fury Road. This definitely has a little more calm than that behemoth. <laughs> However, all of the fight scenes are just masterclasses in John Wick Chapter 4, and the second half more than makes up for any scepticism on the massive hype surrounding the film that may crop up beforehand. The heavily inspired Warriors-esque tinge of the incredible action that takes you on the streets of Paris is something to behold on the biggest screen you possibly can. It's truly a knockout with easily some of the best set pieces of the year. The car chasing is phenomenal. The aerial shots of that shootout were sensationally directed too. The powerful finale just topped it off perfectly, Keanu, you legend. And bonus points for a beautiful performance by Donnie Yen as Kane. There's officially going to be a chapter 5, which is... interesting? <laughs> I am really excited for the spin-off film Ballerina releasing next year from Len Wiseman, creator of the Underworld series and director of Die Hard 4.0 and written by Emerald Fennell, creator of the fantastically dark drama Promising Young. Ballerina will be starring the one and only Anna de Armas in the lead role, alongside our favourite shady characters from the Continental, including Angelica Houston, reprising her role as the director, Ian McShane as Winston, and of course everyone's favourite hitman, John Wick, played by the legendary Keanu Reeves. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think of John Wick Chapter 4 in the comments below.